I oftentimes give a, a talk on winners and whiners. And I think, <laughs> I think that, um, that coaches should be very aware of that we're trying to coach winners, not whiners. And I think in this age of entitlement that we're in right now, it's even more important. And um, to differentiate early in the season, wh who is a winner and who is a whiner and how you, def how you separate yourselves. And um, for example, in speaking about give and take, winners do give and whiners do take. Winners do rest and whiners do never wake up. Winners are focused and whiners are unfocused. And winners surround themselves with wannabe winners and whiners surround themselves with wannabe whiners. Um, winners ask for help and whiners know it all. And winners give a pat on the back and whiners ask for a pat on the back. And to help our young players really understand the differences in being a winner and being a whiner. A whiner stomps her foot after she misses a serve. A winner just runs to the next person and says, we need you. And give examples on the court of what differentiates a winner and a whiner. Give examples off the court of what differentiates a winner and a whiner. Um, student athletes are not entitled. They are not entitled to, to get to play the game of volleyball. It's um, a, a wonderful sport that we are totally committed to. And if we are entitled to the right to be on the court, we're missing the boat. And, and uh, whiners are entitled and winners want to work to get there. Right. So I that think if nothing else, if we could make help players to understand the difference between being a winner and a whiner in a team setting, we're really getting somewhere.